Stanford University. This class is about the design, building, and testing of autonomous aircraft. These are airplanes that the students build, and they're built to fly by themselves above Lake Lagunita. It's a simulation of what may happen when somebody's lost in the forest and you send some airplanes in a search and rescue party. We try to simulate a real world experience for the students where they actually have a reward that's based on the performance of their design and the performance of their team. The score is given by how fast can they find the four targets and also how accurately. None of the fabrication process is actually dictated, so we have free reign over what we can do. Like to, to start from nothing and, and have a working plane that, that flies on its own requires a lot. They need to, first of all, design the airframe. They also need to design the actual code that flies the airplane. And they also need to work on some higher level mission planning tasks, uh, sort of to know where the, the UAV should be going at any given point in time. Our team went through three major redesigns. Um, the first one didn't fly so well. The second one was very heavy. The third one, we hit a sweet spot between um, good aerodynamics, just the right amount of weight. There's a lot of investment in there, a lot of emotion that goes on when you're throwing these things. It's really scary to see these things go in the air and fly on their own. But as they do it more often, they start seeing that they can trust the computer, they can trust their code. And it becomes a very rewarding experience to see that this thing flies on its own and actually finds these GPS targets. The most important thing that they get out of this class is the, to learn how to put together an entire system. Once the students complete this course and successfully fly the airplanes that you've seen earlier today, uh, they have the capability to go out into industry and do the same thing, but they've learned it all in 10 weeks. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.